Hey guys, this is APFQ Tech right here. Uh, this video is going to be about the Jasper chipset. It's the newest chipset, latest uh, released by Microsoft. And it's on pretty much newly manufactured 360s that have been manufactured after, I believe, sometime during October. It's confirmed for the arcade. Not sure if it's confirmed for the Pro or the Elite. But um, here's the article from Engadget. Um, the legendary modder Ben Heck, I'm pretty sure you've seen his works. Like, he made a Wii laptop the PS3 laptop and he finally made another 360 laptop. Um, he tore apart the latest Jasper console and he's just going to go show you pictures of a motherboard and stuff. Um, what else? Okay, let's start from the beginning. Um, this is just the main layout on the motherboard. You can see the connectors for the AV, U Ethernet, USB, power, uh, memory cards right here for the hard drive connector right there. This is right here where my arrow is pointing is actually the GPU chipset, the graphical processing unit. And over here is the CPU. And just some more pictures of him tearing apart. Heat sink and drive. Okay, this DVD drive right here, it's actually a Philips drive. It's different from the older 360 models. I'm not sure if it's even quieter, but it's different. The other 360s had, I think, Bank or Samsung drives right there. Um, this is just a bird's eye view of the heat sinks for the CPU right here. And this is a GPU right there, heat sink. They're both connected through a copper pipe. Some other hardware. This is where the GPU heat sink is. And this is the new, what is it, uh, Jasper GPU. Basically, the only changes that the Jasper has from the Falcon is the GPU. It uses a 65 nanometer GPU instead of a 90 nanometer GPU. Um, it goes by transistor lithography. Basically, what, what I mean by 60 and 90, so sorry, 65 and 90 nanometers is that the older 360s, each transistor on the GPU was 90 nanometers. This time on the Jasper is 65 for the GPU. For the Falcon chipsets, they had 65 nanometer CPUs, but not GPUs. The GPUs still remain 90 nanometers. For the Jasper, this is just to, um, sorry about that, this is just to reduce the uh, power usage, and it's mainly also to produce less heat, reducing the chances of the red ring of death. And this is just the old newer GPU, this is the old one, so he just gives two pictures for comparison. This is slightly bigger the old one, as you can see, this is a 90 nanometer GPU. This is the CPU right here, it's relatively unchanged compared to the Falcon chipset. And over here, Ben Heck, he tells you uh, how to spot the new Jasper chipsets. Right now it's confirmed for the arcade, and arcade boxes, on a, somewhere on the box there will be a little slot right here, where you could actually see the barcode and also the voltages. So you have to look at the voltages to see whether or not it is Jasper. And he's going to show you what he means right here. Okay, for the Falcon chipset, he uses, uh, let me just bring the camera closer. Uses 14.72 amps and 12 volts, basically. So the number right next to that, 5 volts and 1 amp, that's just the output for the USB port. Because the Xbox 360 can't actually charge your phone with uh, wireless headsets. That's for the Falcon chipset, and this is a Jasper. As you can notice, um, uses a little bit less power, around 2.1 amps now, 12.1 12 amps. So this is just the change of power, how much power the 360 consumes. By the way, for those of you who don't know, amps is a form of current, so this is just the unit you use for current. This is just the power um, slot, it's slightly different actually. Uh, it could use all the power slots, um, power supplies, along with the newer ones. Okay, the main difference between the power supplies though is that um, the Jasper uses the 175 watt power supply. It's actually the same as the Falcon chipset one, but the thing is that the Jasper 360 uses 150 watts only, which is um, pretty weird actually. I would expect them to change the power supply as well. Older 360s, they had the 203 watt power supply that includes from launch to I believe mid 2007. They've been using 203 watt power supplies. And as you know, the the difference between the power, amount of power it's using, it's around 50 to 30 watts. 
depending on the power supply, which confirms, you know, 360 nowadays use a lot less current. And that's just how to spot the arc, I mean, the, how is it, an RK360 with a Jasper chipset. Basically, what I said before, find the slot right here, look for the barcode, and look for the voltages. Pay attention to the voltages, it has to be 12.1 for it to be a Jasper chipset. Falcon chipsets are fine, you won't have a problem with that. The rates of Red Ring of Dead are relatively low. Jasper is supposed to reduce the rates even further. So, I mean, that's the main reason for that. Anyway, that's, that's about it. So, um, you can go check this out yourselves on Engadget.com. I believe this is from December 10th, this article. So you have to go check in the archives and stuff. Anyway, this is AP, APQ Tech Raider. Uh, comment, subscribe, rate. Um, just one note, this video has been recorded in HD. Um, I'm going to convert this, upload this. Hopefully, it'll, the HD option will come up. If it doesn't come up, um, send me a message or just comment. I'll try to revise the format.